Legends Hangout or welcome if you are new here today. We are going to play with a brand new palette. That's right. We just did the unboxing for this palette and I really want to dig into this palette. So we are going to play in this palette. Um, but this is the, um, is my mirror broken or is it just sticky? Just sticky, which is fine. It can be just sticky. I don't mind that if it's not broken. Okay. So I'm going to put this into my packing stuff. Get this out of the way to get with my recycling stuff because I don't need it. It's over here out of the way. And then we're going to get into this bad boy. And it has a huge mirror. Um, but here's the color story on it. It's absolutely stunning. Super stunning. Yeah, it's got like the glue is coming out, I think, is what that is. Looks like. Hey, at least I know they glued it in, right? So, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go. Oh, wait, no. I have a lot of. Right here. I forgot I brought one in earlier. So, I don't have to go nowhere. I have a little bit of the RCMA um, on my eyes. And otherwise, my base is done. So, we're ready to go. But I'm going to go in with a Moda brush. And I'm going to go in with this dream color. This pink right here. This light pink. Um, because I just want to use that as my transition shade. All I did earlier was just put a little bit of mascara on when I was going out and about. So, that's a really pretty, nice transitioning shade. Trying to set my lids because the RCMA is a little bit waxy, which is fine. Um, works really nice as a base. Absolutely okay. She's okay with me. But I am so excited for this palette. Um, yeah, I am so excited. I have the Nikki Tutorials palette. And so I've been really excited to play with these newer palettes. I almost bought the Age of Opulence palette and the Wilderness palette, both of them, and I'm kind of regretting not getting the Wilderness palette um, because it's a stunning palette. It really is. But of course it was limited edition, so I didn't get in on that right away um, and missed out. But that's okay because this palette is really gorgeous. Um, and I have so many green palettes. Hole in the head, don't need a new one. Um, okay, so I'm going to go into Lilac, I think. No, let's do 1993. Oh my gosh, that was the fresh, my freshman year in high school. Good year. Good year. Kind of. Not really, actually. That year sucked. I'm going to be perfectly honest. It really did suck. Like, a lot. I went through a lot that year. A lot of negative things happened that year. A lot of good things happened that year. But... Sadly, the negatives overshadowed the positives. So I'm just kind of really lightly blowing that out. I just 
kind of wanted that as my transition my true transition if that makes sense that um that dream color was more of a base color um just kind of set everything in place get it ready for the real coloring if that makes any sense i mean there's a lot of kick up in the pan not i don't mind kick up i don't generally it means you've got some softer shadows which is okay doesn't bother me um because you'll end up with more pigment and softer shadows which is a good thing right more pigment it's a good thing so so far so good so far so good i kind of blew it out a little bit more than i wanted to on that side so now i gotta even her out right but that's okay i'm gonna go in with some of these blue colors too because they're stunning Absolutely stunning. And when you've got a blue Ride the Pony shirt on, you gotta put in some blue. Because, yes. And this is that one that I used the Dream on. I'm just, there's absolutely nothing extra on this brush. I am just a blending. Blendy, blend, blend, blend. Because, you know, you wanna just. Blend her out. Because that's the point, right? Okay, so. Make sure everything is very well blended. Okay, this is a MSQ brush. It's just kind of a flatter. Um, I'm going to go in. Oh. I want to keep it kind of dusty. Or do I want to go really Okay, let's go in with C. And we will bring that like this. And we'll bring it in like this. So that's kind of, I don't know if that makes me look like I got a black eye or not. I'm not going to bang it off though. Now I want a little bit more of that pigment. She is so pretty. That is a really beautiful color. I don't know if you guys can really see how pretty that is. Oh, she pretty. Oh, so pretty. She's so pretty. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, very pretty. What do we do on one side? We must do on the other. Very pretty. Like seriously. And you guys know I'll go in and clean all that junk up. You know. With Q-tips and micellar water. We'll get her cleaned right up. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So pretty. They have a color in here called denim and it's really pretty really it's the this that i swatched it and it's this like denim -y blue and it's really pretty but i don't know if i want to use it in this look i think it's too blue but this grungy blue called c i think is perfect I think it's absolutely perfect. So pretty. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. Yup. Beautiful. Okay. This is that dream brush. Again, nothing on it. She's just a blending. 
just to blend in i love these moto brushes they're oh, i think they're blender brush no crease brush um they're so perfect just to blend because they're just soft enough but have enough oomph to really get in and get that job done if that makes sense it's so pretty i think i need a little bit more on this side yeah. so pretty so pretty yeah beautiful absolutely beautiful I did go in with a little bit more of that 1993 on this brush just to hold on I gotta get the poops okay so now that we've got the poops settled in, um, I think I really want to kind of really brighten this up here. So I think we're going to go in with some muscle water, clean some stuff up. Hello, how we do? This la Get that all cleaned up in here. Right. So we have a nice area to lay down, lay down, put some white, some white down, okay. Just some e.l.f. Hydro. This is not the hydrating concealer. This is just the camo. Okay. I like the camo concealer for cutting creases and such because it dries really nicely very similar to the Jeffree Star Drug Lord in that it dries super fast but it leaves you that nice white base um, I just happened to get a good deal on this so that's why I have it otherwise because I have another tube of the Drug Lord, which I prefer. Because it really does dry super fast and super matte. So, and doesn't crease. This can crease on you sometimes. If you don't get it. Um... To just the right consistency if that makes sense sometimes if you get it a little too thick um, even a little too thin sometimes it will crease on you it just depends it can be a bit patchy so that's where I prefer the Jeffree Star Cause like I mean you put it on and it's there and it stays there it's one of the few Jeffree Star products that I prefer over something like this but that'll do in a pinch and I always kind of go over it like this just to kind of tap it out 
so I am going to go on the back end with this brush. I'm not adding any product, but I want to kind of feather in that back edge. If that makes sense. Thusly to blend it, right? And then I'm going to take this with nothing else. Do the same on the top, just to blend, right? Just to blend. Okay, and then this is a MSQ, but it's kind of a round. It's a, just a little bit different brush, right? So now I am going to go into um, this shade called, hmm, how do I want to do this? I want to do it a little bit differently. Actually, I think I'm not going to use this one. I think I'm going to go in with this little Wet n Wild brush. It's like a super weird little packer brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Lollipop, which is this kind of fuchsia magenta color. Right, and I'm going to read line Right, just the line. Blend it out as best I can. Thus Okay. Do the same. The other side. Okay. Need to get over here. Clean off my brush, right? Okay. And then we go into cosmic. Mm, no, we go into Ocean, which is this gorgeous blue shimmer. And I mean, it is gorgeous. Pretty, so pretty. And a super fun. Okay, let's just lay this down. 
so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that color. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, I think it's a star gem brush, right? And I'm going to go into this gorgeous color called Sh Gleam. It's this lavendery purple color. And I'm going to fill that in on that inner corner color and bring it all the way in. So pretty. Okay, I didn't put any glitter glue down, but I'm half tempted to see if it works better with some glitter glue down. I sure made a mess on my palette. I dug into it pretty good. It has a little bit different texture than the rest of it. So, let's see here. I'm going to grab just this Alamar brush. All right. Let's just see how it does with a little bit of glitter glue. Might kick it up a notch. Because sometimes that makes all the difference. And this is just the sample glitter glue. It's called sample glitz glue. Same brush that I was using. Oh yeah, that makes a big difference. Big, big difference. Yep, big difference. Big difference. Oh, yeah. Big difference. Huge. Oh, most definitely. Yeah most definitely but i am gonna take this right okay and i'm going to use this in that potion color on my lower lash line because it is gorgeous i just love it it's so pretty So, so pretty. Oh, yeah. 
for sure. I definitely need to clean some stuff up and, you know, finish my libe. And I'm going to do a little bit of blending, I think, on top here. I didn't add anything. I kind of want to blend that. You know, just a little bit of finessing. Blend these just a little. But, oh my gosh, I love this. It's so pretty. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I decided to just do natural lashes today because, well, I didn't feel like messing with fancy lashes. So anyway, here is the look. My lips are the KVD uh, bullet lip in the shade Lovecraft. So. There you go. There's my final look. Let me know what you think down below. I'm really digging this palette. Cannot wait to dig in and do some more looks. Let me know what you think down below. And if you have this palette and you've tried this palette, please, 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 please chime in down below. Tell me your thoughts. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think. Anyway, blessings to you all. I love you so, so much. And I will see you guys later. Bye.